My name is Emit Nicholl and I'm a studio printer with Glasgow Print Studio and Etching Tutor. My specialist area is mainly etching, although I do work across relief and monotype. Through my employment at Glasgow Print Studio, I've, I've collaborated on and off with a, a fair number of etchers. Ken Curry being one, John Byrne, Barbara Ray, we first started doing etching with her before she moved on to Cabarundum. And you learn a lot from these people and just how they approach the subject matter and the process itself. And that tends to feed back into what you do. So at the start of a project like this, the artist will send us an image and uh, we'll have a colour palette worked out. And usually when we get the image, we'll actually, we'll break it down into the three plates. So generally for proof number one, we use a set of colours and a set of orders to print the plates in and we get a finished print. And generally we'll do that maybe three or four times over the course of a day or two using different colour combinations. We'll then uh, have the artist in to look at them and she'll then make a decision based on the proofs that we've done. The collaborative process when you're working with an artist is, is all based on good communication, really. You, once you've met the artist and you, you know a bit about their work and can start to see where they're coming from, then it's, it, the whole process becomes very symbiotic. Barbara sent us a, a range of images she was working on as monoprints, and at that time they weren't all completely finished. So she's, she's experimenting with different colours based on the same image quite a lot of the time and she'll, she'll do various uh, iterations of the same image and say this is, this is the palette I'm using, this is what I like at the moment. I started out in architecture um, and after about 10 years I realised it wasn't really what I wanted to pursue. I then went on to study technical graphics and illustration and at that point, my tutor was Harry McGee, who was a well-established printmaker and had a good relationship with Glasgow Print Studio. And he encouraged and introduced me to printmaking. The process we use for Barbara Ray at the moment is carborundum, it's called. And it's a three-plate carborundum. So there's one, two, and the third plate here. The peculiar thing about carborundum in terms of printmaking is it's a, it's a planographic process so all the the marks and textures are made on the surface of the plate it's not like etching where acid bites into it or relief where you're cutting so all the uh, the marks are on the surface the, the unusual thing about the actual marks is they're made using a metal filing called carborundum so it's a metal filing that's sometimes used uh, as a a non-slip surface. It was used in lithography to grind lithostones, but also artists being the creative way they are, they find other methods of using these things. So when it's mixed with a, an acrylic medium, it can be then used as a paint, and it's painted on directly onto the plate in big brush strokes and bands, and you can achieve detailed line work. Once it's on, you can scratch into it, and remove areas so that you get a contrast between light and dark. Some of the unique challenges are when you, you've reached a point and the artist is unhappy and they, they think it's going wrong and they essentially want to ditch it and start again. And quite often, you know, as experienced printmakers, we'll have methods and ways of retrieving an image before it's completely trashed, essentially. And that, it, being able to convince someone, look, it, it's not the end of the world, we can get this to work, is a really nice challenge. 